So what up YouTube, Rod J here. Just to show you one of the spots I'm actually gonna make a beer run to. This is actually Party Town down in Florence, Kentucky. Let's go ahead and get inside and see what they have to offer today. So here's what you see when you first get into the store. You can see it starts out nicely with a good variety of beers. We're gonna push back to the uh, other aisles to see what they also have out there, see if we can catch some good deals and see what may be available. So one of the cool things I like about this bottle shop is their wall selection. Different bottles, you can pick up individuals up through some of the bombers. As we can see here, all different types of imports, which are nice. And then over here, we have like kind of the American bomber wall, as you can see up to the ceiling with various bomber selections which is also very nice still going still going still going so there goes some of the bombers and then over here we have some of the other selections of stuff some of the micro craft breweries you also have here good amount of selection from around various parts. This is of course just one of their, their aisles here. Again here we catch more of the different individual deals they have on some of the beers which is nice. And as you saw earlier I think that was the one aisle we were down but here's another beer aisle that goes all down through various beers from all over. Like I said, a pretty good selection that you can find of various beers. Then when you get around here, you also have the cooler area, which works its way down nicely as well with various beers. A little bit more over here. And this is your little gluten-free section. So you know, they're looking for the gluten-free people as well. And then when you get down here, one of the cool things that I actually like about this place is they have stuff broken down by country. So here's some, a column of all Russian beers that they get in. Here's a cooler of the England beers. Here we have some more of the imported singles, uh, Sweden, Denmark, and France. You also have Germany as well. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> you also have some of the Belgian beers too. So a good amount of beers around and you can pick up the individual selections, which are nice. You also have Canada over here as well. And then everything else back down to the left side is all the USA craft. And of course, if you don't want it cold, then they also have the import aisle, which actually has some decent imports from around the world as well. So. This is just one of the stops that I have in my rotation. I always say you should have more than one beer place that you like to go to. This one is more specialized for a lot of the import beers. All right, so here we go, leaving Party Town. So what did I end up getting there? Well, one of the things I find out from some of the different stores, when you have some rotation, you have to actually also be considered of what the price it may be. Some of the bottles in this particular store were a little more overpriced than they should be, knowing some of the other places I can get them. So I kind of limited some of the selection I purchased from this one, decided to pick up a few that I hadn't seen before, ended up catching one deal. I picked up the uh, Lips of Faith. So I got a four pack of these, $4.99. Pretty nice little deal in that regard. I've had a few of the beers from the series. I've been pleased with the ones I have had. Away from that, I actually picked up a bottle of the Hog Heaven, decided to get a bomber, went with the Imperial Red IPA. Picked up the Lagunitas Imperial Stout, which for some reason I have not had that before. And then also decided to pick up a little bit of Liquid Double Fudge from Evil Twin. So all in all, pretty good deals. $4.99 on a four pack. The Liquid Fudge was $7.99. The Lagunitas $5.99. The uh, Avery was $6.99. So in all, I ended up paying like $27, just over $27.52. And got a pretty good selection of some different beers to try as far as uh which would usually look to pay on some of the bombers and of course that little four pack with my fridge being as stocked as it is 
this is actually good. I won't take up much space by adding these ones in the rotation. And then I'll check some of the other stores, which I'll show, I'll show another video at some point where I get like some of the individual bottles and I catch some pretty good deals. That all being said, hey, I appreciate you guys for watching. I look forward to catching you guys next time. Keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.